identifying the thickest and thinnest objects. So children, in the previous video, we saw some interesting examples of identifying thick and thin objects. In this video, we will see some interesting examples of identifying the thickest and thinnest objects. Today, Choto is doing his drawing homework. Choto has taken colors, a large piece of paper and few brushes to paint. Choto, what are you painting? Pinky, I have thought of making a plant in an open field today. Choto picks up a brush and starts making green field. But Choto's brush is making a very thin line and Choto is taking a lot of time to cover the green field. Oh Choto, your brush is very thin. It will take a lot of time to color the field with such a thin brush. So what should I do Pinky? Choto, if you take the thickest brush, then you will be able to paint the entire field very quickly. Okay, alright Pinky. But which of these is the thickest brush? So children, can you identify the thickest brush amongst these three brushes? You are absolutely right children. This brush is the thickest of these three brushes. Yes, this brush is the thickest. Let me use this to color the field. Oh wow Pinky, I was able to color the field quickly using the thickest brush. Yes, but this thick brush cannot be used to make the plant. Yes, you are right Chotu. So you can take the thinnest brush to make the plant. Yes. It will be easy to color the plant with a thin brush. But which is the thinnest brush, Pinky? Children, can you tell me which of these three brushes is the thinnest brush? You are absolutely right, children. This is the thinnest brush. Here it is, Choto. The thinnest brush. Choto finishes his painting quickly. So children, did you see that Choto used the thickest brush to paint the green field and the thinnest brush to paint the plant. So children, can you tell me that which of these three books is the thickest book of all? This is the thickest book and this is the thinnest book. That's all for today. In this video, we saw some interesting examples of identifying the thickest and the thinnest objects. I hope you have understood this topic properly. Bye children.